So there's a little fiasco going on in the War Thunder community, and I don't blame you guys at all. Now, I've been playing War Thunder ever since, I think, 2012. Maybe, yeah, 2012. I've been through the thick and thin. I've been through every single update. And I have to say that there are a few times in War Thunder's history where pushback from the community has worked. I tried my own back in 2016, but there wasn't enough of us. Um, the most recent one I can fully remember. Actually, there's actually there's a couple. And War Thunder, I know it might sound strange, does listen. But only when it affects the bottom line. See, it's, it's a company. It's supposed to make money. And unfortunately, under a capitalistic setting, it's supposed to make as much money as it can. And right now, what it's trying to figure out is how much the company can get away with before... There's some pushback. Now, the first pushback that happened that I can kind of remember is uh, free uh, free parts and FPE, free Abrams, uh, the M the M48 fiasco, the consumable fiasco, and there might have been like one or two others. And I got to be frankly honest, Grandpa Fly Daily has been playing this game for like 12 years. And I am so disconnected from the economy and how stuff works that why am I even talking about it? Well, at one point, I I was a mere mortal and I actually grinded the game. And quite, quite frankly, the reason why I started a YouTube channel of War Thunder was because I was spending money and I was playing the game so much that I was like, I have to substitute some sort of reason for me to be playing this so much. I think I stopped grinding in like 1.57 or 1.43. But even back then when the grind wasn't bad, you still had to talisman stuff. You still had to use premium stuff. You still had to have a premium account to play in progress properly and fast. Nowadays, from my, consti my constituents and from just listening to the, to the community, it sounds like with this change that has happened, it is a pay-to-play scenario to where... Not only do you need Golden Eagles, or excuse me, a premium account, you need a premium tank, and then you have to do well. See, that's what that's what I don't... You have to dangle a carrot in front of a horse, right? I'm okay with being a horse, but I want a good carrot. If I play well, I want to be rewarded well. I don't want to carry the team on my back and get mere rewards. I think that's what we're missing here is that like the rewards are bad, but then they don't even scale correctly. If you get nine kills, there's, there's see, there's no point. This is the war thunder conundrum. There's no point spawning another vehicle because of the SL and there's no point to try to come back because of the kills you get isn't going to reflect uh, your performance. Then on top of that, if you don't die and you're getting 10, 11, 12 kills, you're actually only playing for the dopamine and neuron firing. You're not playing for the SL anymore. The SL and research is minimal each kill you get after that what this mainly affects are high tier players that use mainly aircraft and some of the some of the ships in this game are ridiculous like i i don't get it the naval's already naval's already struggling why are you gonna put forty thousand forty thousand on a battleship what's the point no one's going to play it because, first of all, no one knows how to play naval. That, well, 
I'm just talking from experience for myself. But then you have 40,000 of SL with only 100% modifiers. Like, it's just a, it's a paradox. So, yeah, so this mainly affects, I want to say, top tier. And people will argue that this is how a free-to-play game needs to work. You need to supply the medium tiers with players where players will earn the SL to then rise to top tier to play for a little bit and go back down. So you have a continual um, players for each battle rating and, well, each battle rating. And I don't fully believe that. I feel like a lot of players just play medium and low tiers or medium, medium high through low tiers just because that's where War Thunder was mainly developed. Anything past the T-54, quite maybe, let's just say the Leopard 1, quite frankly, um, wasn't supposed to be War Thunder, at least when it was added. Once the IT-1 came, then all bets were off. We were in la-la land. Anything could happen. So I don't really know what I want to do today. I just want to show you kind of the steps that you can take to make some really, really good SL. Welcome back. After a ton of research and development, I have found out that if you have a premium account and then you buy these premium vehicles here, we should be able to make SL. Now, you know, jokes aside, uh-oh, who's there? Who's there? Dada. Dada? Can you say gecko? Gecko. Good. Can you say dado? Dado. <laughs> you being a good boy? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. By the way, guys, I haven't really been keeping anyone updated. Laura's due in like two and a half, three weeks for the baby girl. It's happening. We're going to be a family of four soon. Holy cow. Kind of nauseous thinking about it, like in excitement. <sighs> Thanks for always being here, guys. Now, joking aside, I think one big change they need to make is to reduce... Or to get rid of the SL nerf as you get more kills. That that would be nice for me and some players who are on, are on good runs. That would be an incentive for me to spawn back in. To know that after two or three kills, if I keep going, I can come back. And even if we don't win the game, all of the all the kills I've gotten adding up will be worthwhile. And also revert the SL back. I mean, I, I just can't believe it. Like, they have 3D modelers develop a 3D model, and they put it into the game, and they sell it for $60. And then they have to raise SL? Like, what? Like, on top of that, people are spinning Golden Eagles. People are have a premium account. See, like, back when I started gaming, all you needed to enjoy a game was a premium account. You know, I'm kind of feeling the Churchill. I'm, I'm kind of feeling the Churchill right now. 50 rounds. And today it's not it's not that. It's it's in-game tokens. It's premium time. It's it's skins. It's this, it's that. Everything is bought and sold. Which makes sense. But today, I'm going to show you how to earn some SL. At least I hope so. I mean, I love this game. Not only is it my livelihood, but it's the game I play when I'm not playing War Thunder. If that makes sense. Like, when I'm done recording for the day and everyone's sleeping, I'll... Uh, I'll get on War Thunder for a little bit and play in tomorrow's videos. Play uh, play a certain tank out to see if it's feasible for a video. I play it all the time. And to see 
this pushback when the community has given War Thunder so much. And likewise, War Thunder has given us a almost fun game to where... Oh, what's this? Better not be big. Now, I think they can pen me, right? This is a... Hang on, let's just see. I can... It, it, it's, it's, it's quite frankly a shame is what I'm trying to get at. Oh my gosh! I wonder how he hit that shot. Oh, it's a 57 millimeter. No, no, no wonder. All right, Churchill 4.0, not ideal anymore. I'm reloading two two gunners. Now I do have some nice depression here. Yeah, I'm just playing I'm just playing how I how I normally would. Okay, this Sherman will will bring you to Valhalla. There's this Sherman will grant me it. P thirty four. Let's keep rolling. We want to try for a flank here. Okay, nice, fellas. It's cleared a little bit. We're going to keep going for more of a flank. Pop a little smoke behind us. Yeah, I think we got a we we have a KV one over here. Come on, little Shermy, Shermy. Now they should be able to hear me, but. With that KV-1, the, the, my engine sound might be drowned out. This is why the German Sherman's so good, is that you can smoke your approach. Oh, it's just one, I think. Well, maybe it's more. Strong. Uh oh. Oh my God! Did, did anyone see that? No one saw that guy. Holy fuck! We got a seventy-six millimeter Sherman in here. Okay, back to it. Come on, guys! We can't lose this. All right, good run. Three kills. But I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys right now. Oh, my God. That guy's still doing work on us. Oh, we got to get in. Oh, they're going to start spawn camping. But uh, I'll tell you right now. Um, getting better and better, higher, higher tier vehicles is, is not... It, it won't bring you happiness. It won't bring you fun. There'll, there'll be moments... Where it is fun and it is rewarding, but it's it's not it's not what you think it's going to be. Ladies and gentlemen, they are all over us. We have definitely lost this battle. So everyone out there who's struggling in War Thunder, I would... I know it's going to sound annoying. Just low tier is like, this is this is where the game is supposed to be played. Ha! 
How good is that Zerindi thing? He he just like ran through our team. Yeah, six kills. All right, my only sanctuary is going to Charlie. We we got to go back and around though. Good. There's another one here. Good. My friendly got him. Salvation is Charlie. God, that guy got... Imagine getting that tank at this battle rating. Alright, let's call some arty. I want 100,000 SL. What the fuck is that? All right, well, game over. All right, how much we get? This time the enemy has proven stronger. Withdraw. Oh yeah, by the way, we lost. Forty-four thousand. This is the way you have to play War Thunder now, unless we can just keep the uh, the protest going. And that that that's an extremely light. Let's let's say on average, the average player kills or four kills, two deaths, three kills, two deaths, three deaths, two kills. Wow. I wish everybody luck. Just know that Fly Daily is behind y'all. And I've been through a lot of these. A long time ago. <laughs> Fellas, be good. Hope you enjoyed today's video. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.